Hi guys, I'm back today and I wanted to do a mukbang video. I haven't done one of these in so long. So yeah, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I just grabbed some dinner and I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> it's that simple. So I got some Chinese food today and haven't eaten all day, which is so terrible. I pour myself a little pink lemonade. Ooh, it matches my shirt. It's so yummy. Pink lemonade is probably like one of my top three favorite soft drinks. You're done with your dinner, Rudy? You coming over to see what I'm having? Alright. I got food from a very nearby Chinese restaurant called Ollie's. It's pretty good. Um, my favorite is their sweet and sour soup, which I got here. Usually, I don't like sweet and sour soups at all from Chinese restaurants because they're very like starchy, you know? Just like not very good, but they do it so well that it's like natural almost and um, They have enoki mushrooms in it. It's just very like yummy um, Definitely one of my favorites So I got a huge thing because I'm such a soup person Which is good or bad, but I'm gonna just pour a little bit in this little in this bowl here because it's so hot Oof. And then for the main course, more or less, I got my fun. I don't really know what this is called, but it's basically like, it's just like very thin noodles. And I got it with beef. So I'm just going to put a little bit in my bowl as well. Oof. Thin noodles. Now you can kind of see what I'm eating. I mean, I am super hungry because I haven't eaten all day, but it's so yummy. Ah, I love the soup. Sorry for slurping. Wow. Hey, last time I did a mukbang video, I was still in Paris. Probably two years ago now. Crazy. Oh, this. So how are you guys doing? I'm still packing. I'm moving next week, early next week. So Very hectic times right now. Don't you guys feel like everyone's literally everyone's breaking up? <laughs> Not only like, you know, the people around me just happen to be breaking up. I don't know why, but like all the social media influencers, not all, but like a ton of them are just like, there's like something in the air. Everyone's just breaking up. So funny. Not funny, like ha ha ha. Like it's not a joke, but just like crazy, you know? Thank you. 
I don't know if this is fun to watch because you can't even see my food. Um, but now I have a little bit of food in my stomach, I can start talking about what I wanted to talk about. Recently, I'm 26 now. I just turned 26 in March. And over the last, like, six months or so, I'm really starting to realize what I've learned after graduating college. I don't know if most of my audience is like younger than me or what, but there's just honestly a ton of things they don't teach you and prepare you for life. How can I even put this? I think growing up, um, um, I was raised in a way where I thought, you know, you just go through the motions, follow these steps, and then you'll be good. But the truth and the reality is that College is not even real life yet. <laughs> it's like, now I'm 26 and now I'm really starting to realize I'm entering adulthood, becoming my own person, and so on and so forth. So education and all of that prepares you to a certain degree, of course, like, you know, like whatever. But what I'm trying to say, I guess, is like after you graduate college for a little bit and you're like, oh, like now what am I supposed to do, you know? And growing up the way I have, I think, I'm not really sure. One thing I can say for sure is that I guess in my community, everyone's path is not as individualized. Like you don't, no one really spends time to be like, this is what you should do because you're good at this, you're good at that. You know, really find out your way of doing things. Rather, it's more like, do this stuff, do all these steps because you have to, because everyone else does it, because that's just what everyone does. And I don't think that's right. I honestly don't think so. What I realized after college, you know, I got my last job consulting where I made better money than I do now. And I was like, oh, okay, like whatever. And then two years later I realized I hate it so much. I can't do it anymore, like I just cannot. It's not for me, it's not for my personality, it's not, like I could go along with it but I would never do so well at it because I hate it. So now I'm just trying to find what works for me, you know? And it's hard but it's like, it's better than stuck in the wrong path. Definitely better to be lost rather than like going down and wasting your time. And also, what is success anyway, right? It's all mindset. It's just it's just how you feel and whatever. I also wanted to do this video on things I like and I, things I don't like. I can just talk about it now. Like, I like designer handbags, of course, but I don't like designer dogs. Not for me. For pe other people, like I can get, like I understand why people like it, but for me, there's just so many more reasons to go other way, and it's just you know a matter of right or wrong to me. So I feel like not everyone thinks like that, and of course, everyone has their own right to think whatever they want, but for me, there's just no way I wouldn't adopt like a rescue pet than like to buy a designer dog. Like a lot of things like that don't make sense to me. Obviously, it's the same thing, right? A lot of people like to show off their dogs, like how maybe someone thinks that I would show off a bag. It's so not even the same thing though. I like expensive handbags and designer handbags because because they're made with such high quality. Their designs are somewhat original or like the most original there can be, right? Because if you go on the high street, they're always going to be imitations of premier designers and they're usually made by worse labor. They're usually made by worse quality. Things will fall apart. Whereas if you buy Premier Designers, there's the art you're buying for, there's the quality you're buying for, and so on and so forth, the promises and all that. 
That's why I like designer handbags. Not like, oh, like, Chanel bag on her fucking arm must mean she's rich. Like, no. I don't give a shit. There's definitely, a, a like, a mentality of wanting the best of the best. But for me, like, breeds of animals, there's no rating. I think it's cruel. It's cruel and it's difficult, you know, to judge something based on something completely out of people, out of anyone's control. I'm like full already. I'm going to New Orleans this weekend for my high school friend's bachelorette party. So excited. It's my first bachelorette party, I think, actually. Yes, I think it is. I bought actually a bunch of clothes from ASOS. And I haven't even unboxed it yet because I wanted to do this unboxing and try on haul. But the thing is, like, the weather has been so crappy in New York that I can't really get good lighting. But I definitely want to film that before I go, which is Saturday morning. It's an exciting time for sure because not everything's figured out, you know. You're, like, in a very turmoil stage. But it's fun. It's what being young is all about. Can never be complacent or not self-aware. That would be the worst. I think I'm gonna talk about more about me moving out, I guess. So, since I last lost my last job that was better pay, my boyfriend's been super supportive, financially and emotionally. I've mentioned this before. So, living in my current situation, you know, I pay rent, whatever, but he takes care of me. But after I decide to move out, obviously, he has his limitations and he can't do much for me. Knowing that, I still make the choice to move out because I know there's just no other way. Even though, by doing so, I'm giving up the comfortability of basically having everything handed to me. But it's just, it's not worth it. Do you see what I'm saying? It's, I need to be by myself to improve as a person. That, to me, is way more important than free food all the time and dream vacations all the time and this and that, presents this, presents that, Cartier ring, you know, whatever, Hermes bracelet, blah, like, all of this stuff, all of that stuff I can live without, I don't really need money, I need to be sane and figure out what I'm to do in life and how I can be best by myself because I don't feel good right now. And I think I finally gathered the courage to do all of this. <clears throat> Not because I realized whatever, but I have finally matured to a point where I have made so many incredible friends that are just like honestly there for you. I've weeded out all the toxic people in my life, you know, the people that like don't really want the best for you, you know, are there just kind of like to reap the benefits and kind of stab you in the back. Just ugh, disgusting people. I've cut them all out of my life. I'm gonna, starting from now on, I'm just gonna do me. I'm gonna be unapologetically me, which I've not been my entire life, and I don't know why. Like, why? It's time to be fucking independent and own it, and just do me. It's just the truth. Like, if I don't like you, I don't fuck with you. Okay? Like, the end. <laughs> like, I don't need to explain anything to anyone. I, if I don't like you, you're out of my life. So I finally gathered the courage to just surround myself with all these positive people that really support me, you know, really love me and want me and see me succeed because, because guess what? Because <clears throat> there are confident people. They know they've got it going on good too. They don't want to wish harm on anyone else because that doesn't do anyone good. So I think that's the most important thing. And the comfort that I used to look for in a close partner, I can get all of that support from my friends and stuff. So that just makes me feel so much more wholesome and more independent. You know, it's just it's just way better to look out for yourself when you're so young, I feel like, because I'm honestly not in a position to kind of help anyone else. And that's my personality. When I'm in a relationship, I tend to help other people. I tend to I tend to put them first, I tend to work on their problems and ignore myself, but no more. It's time for Ina and Ina only, you know? Anyway, I'm really glad I've had these all these realizations now rather than like five years later. 
in a lot of ways I feel like I couldn't have realized this any sooner because I was so young so scared and so I don't know just I guess like a young and you know like don't really know what the fuck I'm doing or I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing but like I was more scared but now it's just like what the hell is there to be scared about like there's honestly nothing that scares me so lucky to have very supportive friends and I'm saying just be real and be genuine be confident and people of your sort will just attract to you you know and they'll come to you and they'll support you generally speaking I feel like I'm in a really good place right now I'm gonna transfer the soup into here and I'm excited you know I'm trying not to worry too much about the future live in the moment <clears throat> one step at a time enjoy life really and um really work on myself definitely hope all of that makes sense I'm gonna go watch basketball game later today I remember when I made my video about how I lost my job and gained a bunch of weight so many comments were like you know like this is good for your experience blah 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 and I, I agreed too like I agreed I like didn't disagree but I didn't really see what people could have meant but after getting my current job the job itself is whatever but the people I've met through this job have changed my life like as simple as it's put it's just you know they might have not directly done anything but their existence in my life their presence just made me realize so many things and like I said earlier I was able to really see what valuable friendships are and weed out the toxic ones like why would you want to spend time with people that make you feel bad why would you want to do that you know we don't why would you do that to yourself i hate packing i'm so overwhelmed i was like going through my clothes last night i'm like <clears throat> throwing most of it away I'm done. I'm using that Japanese author's method. Like, if the thing doesn't give me joy, it's out of here. And a lot of things don't give me joy. Thank you guys so much for watching me eat and vent. Let me know what you think about everything I said. And leave me a comment down below. Next video will be the ASOS unboxing and try-on haul. I'm so excited, actually. I've got a lot of things that I thought was super cute and I don't think I would ever wear before. So hopefully they look good on me. Anyway... Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!